Hello to all my OMFO students. How are you guys? Today is the 20th day of the movement control order. And uh, how are you? Are you good at home? Why is the feeling? Boring. A lot of people say, ah, boring. Uh, I had better go to school. Uh, you know, I, I want to go shopping. I want to go traveling. I want to just go and go out to Mang Mak store to eat roti canai and so on and so forth. But we have no choice. We have no choice but to be, you know, a lockdown. We have to be at home because of the COVID-19. The kind of virus is so much, so, so, so terrible. Okay, I hope you are fine. And I, I'm hoping that you are using this time by not leading sedentary lifestyle. Why sedentary lifestyle? It means you, you don't want to walk, you don't want to sweat, you only want to uh, lie on the sofa, lie on the bed, you, don't, you just don't want to move. But I'm hoping that you are taking this opportunity to actually do something that is very meaningful, like reading a novel that can enrich your heart and reach your soul enhance your knowledge and make you become a better human being and so on and so forth and most of all tune in to our google classroom and i for me you know boys and girls your success in english seriously in my heart uh, a big part is my responsibility so I will be doing all I can, I'll be doing my best to ensure that you learn and you grow. Okay, I can't make sure that you will get an A or B in the SPM because if I were you, I would get A plus, man. However, it's, it is your effort. Okay, it's your effort, huh, boys and girls. All right, I'm going to talk, I'm going to tell you about the homework we are going to do. As you know that, during the movement control order, a lot of people, uh, like students, cannot go to school. University students cannot attend lectures, um, but they still have to rush during the assignment and so on. And look what happens to the like example. The form six students, supposedly in May, they are going to sit for semester two examination, but due to the COVID nineteen. The exam has been postponed to November, which means that in November, they suppose they have semester three examination, but now they have to study so much. And suddenly, in a few weeks' time, they have to throw out whatever they have studied in, in, uh, for semester two and semester three, but it will be deciding in just a few weeks' time for the examination. We can't help that much. A lot of people who are working daily basics, which means that today they work and they get, let's say, 80 ringgit or 100 ringgit. They don't work, they got no money. So what happened to these people? There are a lot of these people actually in the world, at least in our country, Malaysia, they, are, they don't have money. They have got babies, they don't have uh, money to buy milk powder and uh, it really affects their livelihood, right now. Uh, like we use, students cannot go to school to study and uh, teachers are using Telegram, using Zoom and so on. All this technology only to assist teaching but I believe that the best way is the traditional teaching where a teacher can see students face to face, eyes to eyes. When you got any question or doubt, you just ask and the teacher will explain to you on the spot. Correct or not? All right, all right, all right. So, how to do it, yeah? How to do it? My, my question is, do you think that the movement control order where most of our parents cannot go to work and students cannot go to study. So has it affected your life? Are your parents affected emotionally, 
are they affected uh, psychologically or are they affected financially which means that the, the, the saving they are using savings for the livelihood and so on uh, how much has it affected you and your parents or whatsoever right so I, I want you guys to really think about it and I have given you two articles for you to read regarding the movement control order uh, what happens uh, to the economics what happens to the country what happens to the, to the workers and what happens to the small medium enterprises okay and all these are affected in this very difficult time we will survive okay i'm hoping to receive your writing as soon as possible i'm with you ladies and gentlemen okay i uh, see you guys any doubts or any question please ask me please ask me you are all my children you know for me i'm like a father all of you are like my children don't, don't be shy just ask me i'm here to help you i'm not only your teacher for only on tuesday five to seven but i always tell you that i'm your teacher 24 hours if you need anything uh contact me i'll be there i'll be there for you all right see you guys bye bye